Land and dirty. Remember back in the day, and you know, vanilla all the way up to Wrath Lynch King, you know, you'd just be walking around storming like, hey, look at this, we're in storm, and then, and then you look over and you realize that the guards are tiny blue boxes because you keep forgetting to fix your server. No, you don't remember that? That's because you're not me, nor is Blizzard me, okay? You always remember to fix your stuff, so did Blizzard, just not me. But you know, you always saw this tower in the center, you're like, hmm, what is this for? Why is it here, you know? Uh, why is it there, you know? <laughs> why is it, why, what, what is the point of this tower? Because you see the other tower over there, and you're like, because you can walk into that one, it's connected directly to, to the mage quarter. But then you see this one, it's like, eh, it's just floating in the middle of the water, and then you go to it, and you, you can't enter it, you can't do nothing. What is it there for? What's inside of there? All these years we've seen it, you know? And then, you know, you just, you, you kept moving because you're just like, uh, who knows what's in there. And then you saw this and you're like, well, what is this? What, what could that possibly be? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be finally showing. Well, I'm sure someone already has, but this is called Places Unknown. The Forgotten Lands. Why? Because I'm bringing back these old places that a lot of people forgot about. Today, I'm going to show you. What the frick this portal is here for? Yo, can you stop making all that dang noise, man? I'm in the middle of a video. I can't see him, but I'm going to show you, once and for all, what these are here for. And why they're here. And why we never had access to them. Dang lizard interrupted my intro. Stupid six lizard, the six-legged lizard. So right now you're probably thinking, Jadam, what in the world are you doing in stockades? Guess what? I'm not in stockades. I am in the center council. The tower. The building. The mysterious building. Being guarded by those two powerful cubes. This is the building that's supposed to replicate this, but has no reason. This is the building that finally lets you see what the frick is behind that dang portal here. This is... The stockades that never became. Okay. What? Uh, upon the first look, uh, you know, you notice it. Look, it does look a bit like stockades, but you notice the difference is stockades. When you enter stockades, that's there. It is the back wall is here? That is facing toward the open door. Here, there is no open door. It doesn't face toward anything. It's this giant pillar here in the way too. Upon stepping, you go further down into the darkness, and you enter the instance. This is the stockade vault. As where stockades is the stockades. Now when you first see it, you're like, eh, looks like stockades. But then you notice, there's two large hallways right beside me in that giant grate right there in the center of the ground. This place is huge. This is what stockades was going to be. But then they decided, you know what? A little too big. A little too big. And when I say big, it's big. It's big. And it goes on for a while. You would be in stockades forever. The XP would be great. But you'd be here for quite a while. It goes on. Okay? There are doors connected to rooms. There are rooms connected to doors because that's how things work. It's so big they even had to cut some portions off. Okay, because as you can see by the map, that's an odd place to have that. But then even then they probably thought, mm, it's a little too big. And now we're in that grate that you see. And it still just keeps on going. 
and you come to here, this room is a lot bigger than normal, okay? And it goes some more to the largest room. This is the largest portion of this place. It's almost like a Scarlet Monastery, but in Stormwind instead. And it, as you see, it's big. And we're on the lower floor. We're not even on the upper floor. I haven't even showed you the upper floor yet. Now we've made our way to the back room here. Fairly similar to the rest of the room. This is almost like what stockades is now. So, if you really, you know, kind of, yeah, actually, now I'm thinking about it. If you take a look at it, this is the beginning area. Okay, this is where you go down into stockades, and then they kept this portion here. And then made two rooms off to the side instead of this gargantuan. So this is what it normally looks like. This is that first room, the first two rooms you see. And they chop that part off. You come down the same two rooms, right? But then they, you come here. It seems that they bored this place out, created the what's the name we see here, and when the one under uh, over us we see here, and then kept it going back into an expanded room. So you see the resemblance of the original spot. And how it still looks, uh, or that would probably be that up there, actually, now that I'm looking at it. You gotta figure out how to get up there, though. This place is kind of a freaking maze, man. Okay, we're back at the top, I think. I'm gonna keep it a honey with you. I don't know where we at. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. Oh, my mouse just glitched. Uh, okay, so no, that's up there. Okay, so that is the top. Alright, and you got this room here. And over here is a much smaller room instead of the downstairs that it leads to in the modern game. Then you come up here, and it just keeps on getting bigger. Okay. You got all this extra space back here. Like, this dungeon was going to be pretty freaking big. Of just you and your group running around killing prisoners for years. Because we all know how slow uh, stockades can be when you get stuck with, uh, you know, you know those groups that you get stuck in with stockades where you either die a million times or the tank is ultra slow or the healer is drinking man every two seconds. You know, them low-level groups where they have little to no idea what it is they're doing. <laughs> and I don't blame them. They're brand spanking new, right? And then we go back upstairs. But this right here is what Stockades was once going to be. Am I happy it didn't become this? Yes and no. Yes, I'm happy it didn't become this because those groups would have taken this 30 to 40 minute dungeon and turned it into <laughs> an hour to an hour 30 minute dungeon. Alright. I'm not happy that they didn't keep it because it would have been, it was that original expansion they had plans on doing. Like original Goldshire was going to be massive. About the same size as Stormwind, and Stormwind at the time was going to be even bigger, if I'm not mistaken. But then stuff like this, where Stormwind got downscaled, then obviously you're going to have to downscale the stockades. Let me show you the difference just in case you haven't been in stockades for quite a while. So as we approach stockades, you can already see the difference, right? So like I said, in that one, the entrance... I'm going to make sure I fix my game next time too, so we don't have to see all these blue freaking boxes. Okay, this pillar was here. Okay. But the door is in the front. And the closed off part is in the back. As were in the other stockades, it's the different is the different side. The door is on the back side of it. The closed off part is on the front. And then when you step into storm uh stockades, if I'm not mistaken, the name is different. Yeah, see, it just says stockades. Let's go ahead and turn the GMO on so we don't get attacked by a bunch of blue boxes. Now, the layout is a lot less folded, and there's not nearly as many floors, making it far less confusing, okay? You got your two normal rooms right there in the beginning. 
you know, the stockades we're all used to. But in that stockades, where you saw how I came down, the next room, the next flight of stairs is right at that door. On the right side. As where this, it's straightforward. So freaking uh, line forward, line on that side, back and forth. That's literally a couple of rooms that most people don't even clear. Uh, most people ignore these rooms if they can, which is a heavy loss of XP, but I understand. It makes it real slow. Simple, straightforward, far more straightforward. In comparison to the vault. As soon as you enter, you're met with a downstairs ramp immediately going another downstairs ramp and that ramp goes to another downstairs ramp there's like two and a half flights kind of sorta of. maybe a little less because it's, it's a vault so it's not as deep as a building would be so you can't quite call it floors as it's not quite as deep but way more to it way more to it and this that would have made this place way longer than it needed to be with the exception of these little strange, uh, whatever the heck you want to call them. These little, the little strange rooms that don't lead anywhere. Once again, though, another place with some stupidly eerie background sounds. I'm gonna let you listen into that right now. So if you think about it, this is a dang prison, right? So why Bear Mans is making any sound, right? Bear sound in a prison. We all know in a real prison you hear a lot of talking, a lot of chatting, a couple of screams. It's not as crazy as people make it seem to be, but it's not quiet. This place is just dead silent. But yet you still hear the chains and the gates closing. Bear Mans was murdered in here, fam. Okay. Another thing I never understood about these prisons. Why the frick is there so many weapons sitting around? Because <laughs> these are the rooms, right? You lock them up. Well, clearly, uh, in this original prison, they didn't get much done here. Well, kind of, sort of. Bear Mans broke out. You got weapon racks sitting around. These some pretty shiny weapons, so... You know, they're clean. You know what I'm saying? A, a, a dull sword is not a shiny sword. Uh, you know what I'm saying? A shiny sword is a sharp short sword. Anybody who owns a lot of knives know that. I got dull knives. They're not that shiny. I got sharp knives. They're real shiny. Got three sitting next to me right now. And they're, guess what? They're shiny because they're not dull. These are shiny. Bear man's had weapons everywhere. For any man to just pick up and go swinging away like, I'm not really sure what they were thinking behind a prison like this. Which is probably why the stockades is the way it is now. <laughs> How they get all them dang daggers and swords and crap. But there you go. That is the Stormwind Vaults. Not the stockades. This is the vault. Bigger. Strange. Dark. Spooky. This has been episode... Four of Lands Unknown, episode five, coming soon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and all that good stuff.